Behind these doors, we've got some brand new super secret technology from Ghost Frame. It's gonna blow your mind. Let's go check it out. All right, real quick, this is Video Brand. Special thanks to our sponsors for helping make this NAB coverage possible. Metricool, Massive, Adspective, Vestigit, and OpenReal. All right, now back to the video. All right, I'm here with Peter from Ghost Frame, and uh, we've got some really incredible technology here. So, uh, Peter, can you explain, kind of walk us through what we're looking at here? Yeah, absolutely. So, what we're looking at with Ghost Frame here, it's a, a, a brand new production tool set, and it uh, can be used across a whole range of different sectors in the industry. Um, we're sort of particularly focused on virtual production, but it also works in live broadcasts, live events. Esports is a really particular, or a popular application, I should say, that, uh, that we're doing a lot of work in, as well as corporate. So there's lots of different use cases for it. Ghost Frame um, Toolkit is basically about the, having the ability to hide video content in an LED wall, which is invisible to the naked eye, but is visible through a camera. And doing all of that at the same time as maintaining a perfect uh, naked eye image on the video wall so you can look at a video wall and it just looks like a normal wall but it's got hidden in it multiple images so if we take a look here at the at the screen behind me this first image is the is the naked eye view so this is what joey and i are seeing yeah, as we look stand behind here us and, we see and, the, the, the and looking right at there, the wall yeah. so no problem but we also have in the wall another image in this case it's a it's a another driving plate this is a nice a nighttime driving plate and we have a third image as well um, which is also invisible, hidden hidden in the wall. And in this particular case, we've decided we want it to be a green screen. So all of these images are actually on the wall at the same time. We in the room here can only see this one. The camera can see this yes. one as well, so that's great. But it can also see the camera, this image, and this image. So now we're getting from one camera three outputs at the same time on this wall that we've got in, in front of us. And that's like the magic of, of yeah. Ghost Frame, because now you have three fully broadcast quality in this case because we're running at uh, 5994 hertz fully uh, hd in this case because we're running at hd um, 1080 um, and they can all be used at the same time so you can use them um, as they are uh, you can use them in post so if you wanted to go and post some new green screen content uh, behind you can do that right now one of the beauties of ghost frame is that you can you can have anything here we're content agnostic so we just happen to be showing for effect um, a daytime and a nighttime version mm -hmm. of the same shot so it's mm -hmm. kind of obvious with the green screen we can also make that a, a tracking pattern so you can now do tracking off an LED um, volume where you don't have any physical markers but many tracking systems rely on having physical markers to be able to work out where the camera mm -hmm. is when you track it in a fully enclosed LED volume, that's impossible because there's no physical asset to, to track or to mark. So we can put a tracking pattern, hide it in the uh, in the yeah. wall, and then the uh, camera tracking system can use that for its marks, um, which means you can now track inside a, a 360 degree or a 270 degree volume. So you've got all of this that you can use in post. Uh, what's this really meaning though in terms of a production process? Well, now you can do two things at once, right? Yeah. So if you're shooting, I mean, this the reason we have a car plate here, a driving plate, is because we think car process, so, so car commercials could mm -hmm. be a really big user of this. It's just this massive time saving where you can do two things at the same time. So you can shoot a daytime and a nighttime scene. When you get your perfect take, you've already got everything in the can. You don't need to re-block and reset yeah. and relight because if you notice, we're lighting for each individual scene. So on this side, we've got the daylight scene, we've got daylight uh, lighting. Mm -hmm. So we, we've got the correct scene, uh, the correct lighting for this scene. But in the parallel shot here, nighttime, we've got the nighttime light. And the, day, the daytime light isn't putting any light on the, on the scene at all. And that's the beauty of Ghost Frame, that we can work on a, 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 a subframe by subframe level, where this is one subframe and this is another, and we can light them separately we can treat them separately, we can color correct them separately. We can do all the things you would normally do in a regular production, but we can do them now in multiple layers because with Ghost Frame we have different layers of content on the screen at the same time. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna jump in here because uh, it took me a second to kind of understand what's happening and how this could be applied in the real world. So with Ghost Frame, it is displaying on the screen uh, multiple images in a sub-second, sub-frame fashion. So if we do some bath, and this might not be wrong, but if you're shooting at 60 frames per second, and every second Ghost Frame is flipping the image, it's basically you have two 30 frames per second videos, each with a different background. And the change is happening so quickly that to our naked eye, we only see 
one background, but the camera is able to see two or three different backgrounds simultaneously and keep switching and recording three different videos with three different backgrounds. And so some of the applications we could see for that is if we see the angle here with his virtual set and we just see it a straight on angle, but then this camera over here is connected to ghost frame and ghost frames here in this disguise uh, setup, we could see that this camera has a separate angle, but in this live virtual production, he's able to have this off angle using ghost frame where it is just recording a completely separate background that is happening simultaneously in reality, but we just can't fully see it with our naked eye. We just see the straight on camera, but it's able to record two or even three different angles with three virtual backgrounds. And then if you're not doing live virtual production, another application with the one camera is you could record your virtual set with one file. One file could be a green screen. So if later on you wanted to change the virtual set or use it for something else, you could recomposite it. And then a third angle could be your tracking marker so that you could track later on in your compositing program uh, and map out your virtual space. So you can kind of record three video simultaneously with the same angle. One other thing to explain with the lighting that we're seeing in the ghost frame demo, the lights are also synchronized with the background, so the lights are cycling, so that when we're in the daytime scene, just the daytime light is being captured, and so the subject is also in sub-second moments is being flicked with a bunch of different lights that is only being captured to match whatever's on the background that we're seeing uh, that Ghost Frame is recording. So hopefully that was a little bit of an explainer, uh, but now let's jump back to the actual Ghost Frame interview and demo. If we take a look at the on the other side, this other large monitor is seeing a single output from a different camera. In this case, it's an LDK, LDX sorry, 150, which is a Grass Valley camera. We're just seeing one output from that. Actually, this camera happens to be outputting multiple uh, outputs at the same time, but we're just choosing to see one. And in this case, it's the nighttime version. So this same scene that we're seeing here on the Sony camera, we're also seeing through the, um, through the Grass Valley camera. So what does that mean? You can either have one camera uh, taking or seeing all of the images, all of the ghost frame images in the wall at the same time, or you can have multiple cameras and you can tune each camera in to see a different image. That's pretty cool for things like extended reality and, and AR shoots, yeah. because now you can do multi-camera shoots with extended reality, where each camera sees a different background yeah. on the wall. And if you're tracking it, because you've got a 3D uh, Unreal scene, for example, each scene moves individually to with its camera perspective, and that you can now cut between the real perspectives, which match each other camera by camera in your Unreal scene. So now you can do multi-camera 3D Unreal production. And uh, how is it, re are, are you recording this, uh, one camera getting your different outputs, are you recording it uh, into a separate system to get your different, uh, is it recording multiple files or is it something you kind of decode later? Yeah, so basically once the light leaves the LED and goes into the camera, then we're not touching it anymore. So there's no post-processing at all here. Everything is real. These realities that are really on the wall and these realities are really going through the camera and they're really coming out the other side of the camera. So it's just content. We, we don't touch, we don't touch anything after the light leaves the LED wall. So you just treat your content as normal. You, you get three feeds out of this camera, you just record them as you normally would on a media server. Yeah. So there's no, you know, there's no, there's no extra step. Once you've, once you've actually acquired the image from the LED wall, then you're back into your normal workflow. Yeah, and I think one thing that was interesting that you pointed out earlier was uh, that this is just a real mirror and that it's illustrating that like it is the light reflecting onto the mirror and that the light is real. It's not like being added to. Exactly. And I mean, this is just a, a kind of a, an added proof for, for any of the doubters out there who think it's magic, you know, but the, right. these yeah. reflections are real. And this is why car process is, is, is so um, well adapted for, for car process because of this reflection story, that all the reflections are real as well. So if you're doing, if you have multiple images, um, uh, multiple contents in your wall at the same time for your car process, each of those slices, each of those different images in ghost frame will have the correct reflection. Hmm. So when you when you want to change, when you want to go from day to night, or, or you want to use green for whatever reason, the reflections are all there, it's all constant. You still have the issue with green spill, right? I mean, we're not solving that problem. Hmm. If you shoot green, you have green spill. Um, but with a bit of trickery that we can do with Ghost Frame, we can help the production process to, to get rid of that because we can apply a different lighting effect just for that green to help get rid of the green spill. Mm -hmm. So you have less to do in post when you do color correction. All right. And uh, in order to filter out the light that you don't want or whatever you're looking at, is it a, uh, an attachment or modification to the camera? Or no, we just use the shutter. 
capability of the camera. So what we're doing is shuttering the, the camera at a higher rate than otherwise you, you might do. Mm -hmm. um, and that just helps us divide um, optically or from a light point of view, gives a nice hard edge between this subframe and this subframe. Okay. So you don't have any bleed between the two, the two frames. So we're using the shutter to kind of carve out, chop out the, the just exactly the frame that we want here, the subframe mm -hmm. that we want to give you this perfect image. And that's the magic of Ghost Frame. Awesome. Uh, and I know this is still very early stuff, but do you have a timeline or when kind of stuff like this will be uh, so, more available or rolling out? Yeah, so from a ghost frame point of view, we're, we're ready to go. So the NAB really is our, our, our market launch. We had a soft launch um, about six months ago at the IBC show in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. um, where we've been rolling out uh, ghost frame to a, a few clients. So I'm really delighted to say that uh, uh, ghost frame is powering the uh, NFL on Sunday studio for Fox Sports. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, we've also been doing some esports work. So we did the Dota International uh, for Valve um, at the back end of last year as well, and, and we got the Emmy uh, nomination awesome. for both of those. So that's how are amazing. Their, uh, uses like just quick overview. Like, how are they using? Um, what was their use case? Like, how are they using the different? Yeah, so uh, um, two slightly different use cases, still effectively in, in broadcast. So for Fox, what they're doing is using uh, GhostStream to power their analysis. So. What they have, they've built a, basically a, a, a virtual world, and they wanted to be able to put their, their analyst inside that world as they analyze more or less play by play, um, and be able to kind of move around and have the, the background, the scene that they're in, move around with them. So that was the, uh, the multicam kind of uh, example that I mentioned earlier on. So they're using Ghost Frame so that you can see a different perspective from each camera, uh, a, an accurate perspective. Mm. But the brilliant thing with Ghost Frame is because it, the reality is always there, you can preview it. So you, you, don't, need to, you don't need to fake that. The, the director just sees everything and, and they can cut to it straight away. So they're super happy with that and we're already looking at some season two uh, upgrades for, uh, for Fox as well. Um, there's a similar kind of idea for, uh, for Valve. They wanted a, 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 as well to do um, studio analysis of the uh, of the in-game of, of Dota, but there they, they wanted to really be kind of in their game world. So we did exactly the same thing, tracked the cameras, uh, and then enable them to cut between uh, their game engine um, mm. when they were doing the analysis of, uh, of their kind of play-by-play -play as well. So uh, two similar applications, but for very different, uh, very different environments. Awesome. Cool, it was exciting stuff. Thank Great. You, thank oh, you so yeah, much, we're, appreciate we're it. We're super happy and uh, yeah, we're really pleased with the response here at NAB. Uh, you know, it, it's been crazy. You know, we've been <laughs> full here in our in our demo room uh, since we started on uh, on Sunday. So it's been a great reaction, and, and we're really looking forward to seeing a lot more Ghost Frame out there uh, pretty shortly. Yeah, it's exciting to see. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you Thanks. very much. Thanks for watching the video. For more of our NAB videos, be sure to check out our playlist with all the videos right here, and be sure to hit the subscribe button for more cool videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.